last day in Lebanon already. We're going to head back to Beirut today, but along the way we're going to make a couple stops. Hopefully go on a hike today. We'll see what the group wants to do. Well, I guess we're going to go out with a bang. We started with breakfast at a Lebanese version of a familiar chain back at home. Yep, there's basically no variation from here to the ones in America, except for the cups. We headed back towards the mountain range to go hike in a forest of the cedar trees that Lebanon holds at such high value. Unfortunately, due to some unsavories vandalizing the area, we were unable to enjoy it. Well, unfortunately, we're going to go hiking amongst the uh, national cedar trees, but they've all been fenced off. I guess people were up to no good. Look at this view, these few down here. You may have noticed the tree on the Lebanese flag. That is referring to those cedars right here. The cedar trees of Lebanon are referenced in the Bible a number of times, and as such, remain a big part of Lebanon's identity. Today, the trees are still used to make wooden goods, some amazing honey, and ornamentally in various gardens. I just happened to be in the middle of an army training ground. I'm not too happy with this gunfire. I think I'm gonna retreat. Our next visit was to the memorial of the Lebanese-Israeli War. This is a long and complicated conflict that fortunately for the time being is over. This complex gave us a glimpse of some of the rough conditions that military had to deal with on both sides of the conflict. I found it to be quite sobering. view from the end of the cave. Back on the road, this time to visit the ruins of Tyre. This is another biblically significant site, being mentioned a number of times in both testaments. It is also one of the sites with some of the earliest types of plumbing installed, allowing warmed water in certain areas due to being displaced at a slight angle. Some of the sarcophagi, very well intact. This huge chariot race arena still has some parts that are standing quite nicely and was my favorite part of the entire complex. Can you imagine what it must have been like to watch the races from up here? More plumbing. This is allegedly the hot tub where the winners got to soak. We then got to enjoy a final walk as a group through this amazingly picturesque town. I love all of the colors and art they've done up here. Pretty awesome way to spend your last night in Beirut, sunset on the ocean. <laughs> this comes to the conclusion of my adventures in Lebanon. I still cannot believe how much I enjoyed not only being part of this group tour, but being in the country with this rich history and somewhat recent emergence from war. 
I'd recommend visiting here after doing your own research and making sure this is in line with your travel goals. Thank you again for coming with me to explore Lebanon with the group tour. I'll see you in just a little bit with the next adventure.